Babylon. The Bible calls it a great city. A what? A great city. Huh. I would have touched the scripture, but it would take me time to convince you that that is what it means. A great city. How many of you still remember the book of Revelation? The book of Genesis? In the beginnings? There were two races of men. The first are the descendants of Cain. They were the ones that left the presence of God to establish a civilization apart from God. Guess what? In the book of Revelation chapter 6, and there was another category of people that did not leave the border of Eden. They were waiting for God to break through the lattice and to bring them forgiveness. Those ones learned how to call upon the name of the Lord. These ones were living large. And in the book of Genesis chapter 6, the guys that were living large, they multiplied faster than the guys that were calling upon the name of the Lord. Initially, unrighteousness produces fast results. Corruption produces fast results. A tumor can grow very fast, faster than ordinary cells. So in the book of Genesis chapter 6, the Bible says, as men began to multiply, he was talking about the descendants of Cain. They were the ones that multiplied aggressively initially. Righteousness doesn't produce results quickly because the emphasis of righteousness is in your own personal alignment. But righteousness has the potential to produce something that is transgenerational. When God arrested a man and that man begins to conform with his requirements of consecration, then God begins to see generations ahead of him. So he uses you as a foundation to lay a template so that he can have a ground to stand for him to influence generations to come. Righteousness doesn't produce results quickly. If you want to reign by righteousness, you want to win by righteousness, you will need to understand what is called the process of time. But unrighteousness is quick, it's fast. You will see multiplication. And these are the days where people go out for results, anything that can produce results. If you are results driven, you are, so, you are soon going to be part of Babylon. Because Babylon is what? Is a great city. Guess what? The new Jerusalem is called the holy city. The separate city. The different city. Whereas Babylon celebrates great, the new Jerusalem celebrates holiness. We have a pure breed. The jealousy of our God is upon us. We have not mixed ourselves. We have not lost our sin. Our original sins resides in us. We mix, but we do not mean to mingle. The holy city. When you begin to go the path of holiness, people will call you a Jew guy, a Jew. If you have not yet earned a name on the path of your Christianity, it is because you compromise. The world has names for every set of people that decide to be different. The Bible says John the Baptist, he came neither eating nor drinking. The world system said he had a demon. And the Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they said, Behold, a glutinous man, a wine biber, and a friend of the publicans. Have you earned a name from the world? It means your light is not bright enough. Oh, there were people that came to me and said, You are foolish. Huh? Foolish? I didn't know. Sit down, let's talk. I want to be rid of this foolishness. And they say, people listen to your messages. You can sell it. And the guy brought a graph. He showed me a permutation. This is what you'll make in a year. And because I'm the one that helped you, you give me this percentage, this little. Oh, there's one of the people I was raising told other people that I can't manage greatness. Why? 
because people from all over the world were contacting me and I was pointing them to Jesus. They say, God, man, the guy can't manage greatness. I was pointing them to Jesus. I was pointing them to Jesus. Instead of me to set up a system and begin to ask them to make monthly contributions, I'm there pointing. That they, he doesn't know my problem. That's why he will not follow me. You know what? My duty is to build men. I will never destroy any man. Never. If he becomes a rebel, I will leave him to God. The God that anointed him, let, it, let God destroy him. I will never, never destroy a man. I went to my friend, went to preach in Brazil, and we're praying. Ah, and my friend that invited me said, hmm. There's a young man in your midst. He will cause you pain. Two years before he rebelled. And I knew. But I told God, I will never destroy any man. Destroy them. If they rebel, I will not see anything. Ah, let it be your work to destroy. Me, I'm here to build. And I will build till I die. Circumstances, situations, and suggestions will come to make you like Babylon. But we are a holy nation. We are peculiar people. We are called out of darkness into his marvelous light. The moment we begin to diminish the emphasis of consecration and holiness and devotion to God, we produce demons, beasts on the pulpit. And this beast will turn lively stones into bread. <laughs>